Hello there, welcome back to the F1 2019 career mode. We're going on in Monaco today, man. It is a, uh, it's a very big week. So we'll take a look at our emails. As I expected, every time we go after an upgrade, department failures. Um, okay, well, it was only one. That's good. Well, the forecast, uh, dry, all race, and uh, look at the development. Oh, goodness. There's a lot of lines going on there. So it looks like, uh, yeah, we're going to take a look at this. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. So it looks like everybody just got some shit all at once. We didn't. We had one fail. And it, uh, okay, yeah, it was one. So it was only a minor weight weight reduction. So I ain't too mad at it. But even still, we got a major, and then we got a, a minor arrow upgrade, and we still lost like three spots in performance. Yeah, that'll be. We'll easily get that on for next week. We got a major weight redistribution upgrade, and we actually got a DRS upgrade. So. Um, we can also get a major one at some point. I don't know if I'll do that, but um, I don't know. I was feeling it. But we definitely got to keep work on the chassis for sure. We're up to fourth, which is pretty good. And uh, third on arrow, we should be still. Oh no, okay. We've been overtaken in the powertrain department by a good chunk now. All right. Well, that's that's cool with me. I, uh, you know me. I love me some engine power. I, I could definitely get some more if, I, if we need to. So here's a look at it, man. Huge win. Huge win last week in Spain. We'll give you a look at it here. So fourth, second, fourth, third, and then first. I still can't hardly believe we won Barcelona, man, but that was a huge race. I, it was, yeah, I don't know. It was just one of those, it just, everything worked out pretty damn good. So from, I think we started like seventh. Either way, I mean, we took, we took over the points lead here, leading over both the Mercedes cars, which is, it's good for now. But um, yeah, of course, everybody just got a new wave of, of you know, developments in and, Oh boy, it's gonna be tough, especially going into Monaco. Can be sitting P8 right now, which DNF in, in Spain would have had a really good run there. He was running top three, I do believe. So, um, yeah, it's a shame, man. Rough start for Kimi so far this season, but uh, look at the rest of it there, all the way down to Grosjean. So with that, we're gonna go ahead and hop into it, man. Once again, a huge week, and especially a huge week for qualifying. I'm gonna do my best. No promises. Motor racing has come a long way since the first Grand Prix of the early 20th century. We have faster cars, bigger circuits, highly trained drivers who've dedicated their lives to racing. But still, we return here. Still, it remains the most desired victory in Formula One. Still, we race the Monaco Grand Prix. We're on the French Riviera once more this weekend at the two mile long Circuit de Monaco. The cars climb around 40 meters up through Beau Rivage, onto the casino, and then descending down towards the harbor through sector two. It's a very short run from pole position to the first of the 19 corners here. Seven to the left, 11 to the right. There's one single DRS zone as well, so don't expect that to make overtaking any easier today. Anthony Davidson, a very warm welcome to you as you join me in the commentary box for today's event. Let's discuss Haas. We have a number of changes to the aerodynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting to grips with those changes. There are a few downcast looks within the team this weekend. I think they've been hit fairly hard by the new regs, but this is only the first step down the long road of development, and even if they don't maximize their points today, there are plenty more up for grabs this season. It's time to take a look at our starting grid for today's race. Lucas Weber lines up on pole position and Valtteri Bottas will line up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Raikkonen, Vettel, Charles Leclerc and Hamilton, Herbert, Perez, Gasly and Max Verstappen. Butler, Holkenberg, Alexander Albon and Kvyat, Giovinazzi, Magnussen, Roman Grosjean and Lance Stroll, Norris and Daniel Ricciardo fills the last spot on the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track. Well, happy to report I didn't bomb qualifying. Still wasn't as good as what I wanted it to be, and that's uh, P7. So it should have been better. I completed my lap. I was third quickest, and then I just dropped to seventh in the last, like, ten seconds of the session. So, um, yeah, big, big disappoint there. But, um, yeah, here's the race strategy. I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, uh, one stopper, that's probably pretty damn smart, but... Uh, Ooh, boy, that's that, that tire life right at the end, man. That's, ooh, that's going to be rough. Ooh. Yeah, that 
didn't quite get it. Damn, that was a hell of a start, though. Charles didn't give me a lot of room on that. Ooh, locking it up too. Fun. Now since we made contact, now my car is just going to rattle for the whole rest of the race. Fun. Uh-oh. We got a caution somewhere. I think they sorted itself out. I'm sure somebody got some damage. But we got out in front of Hamilton, which is important. That's very important. Now the real question is, how the hell do we pass? I have no idea. That's why I want to qualify better. The biggest thing, though, is that we're on that one-stop strategy. So I don't know how many people are going to be pulling that here, here in Monaco. I don't think many of the top guys are. So I mean, obviously, you guys know track position is a big deal. That last run is going to be so important not to chew the tires. So we're going to be going a long ways on those mediums. Oh, man. All over his ass. There's nothing I can do with it, except stay on his ass and hope for a opportunity that's never gonna come. If you think you can get past, increase ERS to Hey, to dipshit! What do you think? What I really need is Vettel to go up there and pull away. Cause Charles still getting this DRS well, back here. You'll be on the mediums. Oh boy, fun. Yeah, uh, it's like. That's probably the only the only spot I can pass him. And I he can't because he's got DRS. I gotta have like I gotta have DRS and he can't have it for me to get around him, I think, even to have a shot of getting around him. That's Monaco, man, it's frustrating, but I'm like I'm faster than Charles pretty much everywhere around here. And it's just like there's really no place to get a run. Like if I could get a run then obviously I could probably get by him, but like these corners aren't set up too well to, you know. In this lap, in this lap, push now. Oh boy, yeah, I'm, you're all but lost tires. Trying to push to get around Charles. Put away from Lewis, I don't know how we've done that. Just not on it today, I guess, but, um. Yeah, man. Car's really fast, I think. But, uh, just stuck right now, so. Get some tires this lap, see where we come out, and we're gonna have to really take care of this next set of tires. It's gonna be our last set, probably. All right, well, here we come. It's like I'm the only one coming in. Cool. All right, well, uh, now we got we got Lewis, and um, okay, that's about it. That looked like the Renault crew for whatever reason. Oh, I saw yellow in there. 2.3. We gotta be faster than that, boys. We gotta be faster than that. Alright, well, me and Lewis gonna bring it up from the rear. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. Nice and easy. I guess it doesn't matter if I go over the line. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna be pitting again. I should've just said the hell with it. <laughs> Alright, now you know the deal. Ah, I'm gonna try my very best to be patient, but go fast. Cause this is, uh, I gotta go a long ways with these fucking tires. Woo! It's fun having grip again around Monaco, let me tell you. Real fun time. Alright. I forgot, yeah, I was gonna say, I forgot it was like to turn in, man. I was so close to the barrier right there. Here we go, here we go, 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 go. Okay. We leapfrog some people, I'll take it. These guys are on the mediums too, so. Interesting. Oh no, this is where the fun begins. There's lap traffic. We had this in season one. Okay, one lap, oh man, scrubbed the wall there a little bit. Yeah, lap traffic. Well, not lap traffic, but slower cars. They always call them lap traffic because they're slowing in the way. But yeah, these boys are gonna be in the way for a while. I might be able to sneak past Boat Tass if he's held up here for a while. Oh right, yeah, there you go. See, look. Poor Ricardo. Holding up Boat Tass and boom, we're right there to his rear end. Ooh. Ooh. All right, well, uh, shout out to Boat Tass for making a damn move. 
Yeah, you got your damn mind if you think you're holding on. Me too. Oh boy. That girl roll comes at you quick. Uh oh. Woo. Woo. Yeah, I'm about to go. Uh oh. oh they watered him up back there. Oh. Oh. Whoa. Come on, you gotta go, because apparently I wasn't in front of you. And this changes everything right there. This changes everything. We're gonna have to. Drop your speed. Our delta is too Damn, I don't know what to do. Okay, Lando's coming in. Yeah, I have to. Um, I gotta stay out, I guess. Oh, I don't think so. Am I gonna have to give that to him? It doesn't look like it. That yeah, mm -mm. Fuck you, Devin. Well, the good news about this is um, we do get a, a lap or two or so that we don't really have to put on our tires, if that makes sense. So that, that'll help us out a little bit in the long run, for sure. And here we are. So Weber's on the mediums, Botas on the mediums. We're all on the same strategy here. And the first car off strategy is behind us, and that's Devin Butler on the hards. Now, he just came out of pit road. We were fighting for him for position, him coming out of pit road. So, tire-wise, he's probably in the best, the best spot right now. He can go to the end, no problems with those hards. All of us are going to be pushing it here if we're taking the mediums. I like to think I saved my stuff pretty good there. I didn't push too hard. I only pushed trying to get past Ricardo it was, so. Um, I didn't really push these tires too hard. We'll take a look at the tire wear. Yeah, eight, seven, nine, and nine's on the rear. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty good. We've been on these tires for a little while now, so. Yeah, just, um... I don't know, we'll probably get green this time by or next time by, but um, yeah, I don't even know what happened, but apparently everybody's still running. Uh, I'll try to insert a replay, I guess, in there somewhere. Well, here's a look back at the incident. So Ricardo being in the way like normal. Oh, and Vettel, I think, there just catches the rear tire, and man, they would pull, oh boy, they watered him up. Riding on with Albon, he's gonna be one of the last ones to get here to this incident. Nice. But yeah, that I mean that cleans up the lap car situation and the slow car situation, so uh, in front of us. This is gonna be an all out battle here to see who if anybody can make a pass here in this top three. It's a car in this lap. Like this oh yeah, this lap, okay. Oh, oh, oh man. Safety car is in this lap. Safety oh, we're not ready for that! Okay, we're racing. Yeah, he, this dude's telling me how to restart. We've, dude, we've already restarted. Yeah, I know. Surprising. Out a second lap on the car behind. Oh boy, yeah, I am. That's the only other part of the equation. Uh, slow car, slow driver, slow tires. So that's, uh, yeah. With that, I mean, that pretty much locks us a top three for this race. I think. I don't think anybody's gonna be able to uh, really get by him for a while. So. Lucas is on it, man. DRS has been enabled. DRS is now enabled. I don't think anybody's catching Lucas. He is hooked up. F1 needs to chill, man. We get it. You got a chubby for for the F1 or F2 teammate storyline. Okay, we get it. But like, where's Albon at? In the back. That's right. That's where Williams should be. But no, Lucas Webber. Oh, over that ass, Botas. How we doing? Finally, the front car doesn't have DRS. I botched that last corner, but I might be able to get around him. I don't know. Even with DRS, man, look at that. Hey, man, you locked it up! Man, he's got some straightaway speed. Holy shit! For the record, Devin Butler is still a fourth. After that restart, man. Oh, brother. I am so glad I am not stuck behind that. All those poor souls, and Kimmy's one of them, man. That's a damn shame. Stuck behind him. Hey! Kimmy actually made it! He got past him! Hell yeah! P4 for Kimmy. About as good as an exit as I can get. Got 
him! Yeah! Holy shit, I didn't think I'd be able to make that work! Eat shit, Botas! And for a second, I got close to him in a couple corners. I was like, oh shit, you know what? Let me try to make a pass at him. I was cooling down my stuff. I didn't think I'd actually get it. Holy shit! That's a fucking pass in Monaco, ladies and gentlemen. Well, too bad Weber is, like, on to the next race already. I mean, look. You can't even see him on the damn map. Oh, there he is. Apparently I picked up some front wing damage. I might have been with Botas, I'm not sure. But I don't think it should be... ERS deployment. It's time to use some of this charge. Shouldn't be too much or too bad. Definitely gonna affect us a little bit. I mean, it doesn't matter. It's not like Botas is gonna get back by me. And sure as shit ain't like Weber's gonna catch me. Or I'm gonna catch Weber. I wish Weber could catch me. Wish I was in that position. Man, almost nine seconds. Aw, oh, hell yeah, eat shit, Botas. I knew I was faster than Botas. The real question is, am I faster than Weber? I mean, once again, like, there's no way I'm making up that time, but I can know if I'm quicker. Or if I could be quicker. Vapor ahead, they're on old mediums. Their tires are 19 laps old. The time last lap was a 112.9. You're falling back by one tenth a lap. Well, I answered my question from earlier. Looks like I'm not quicker. Damn. We have five laps of fuel remaining. Oh, so grip. information on Hulkenberg, they're retiring from the race. Good Hulkenberg. Alright. Thanks, because we only got one lap left. Stupid. This is your final lap, final lap of the race. Alright, well, I tried. We're leading our teammate by 10. I don't even know what the gap seconds. is to Weber at this point. I'm sure he's probably gained on me still, but, um... I don't think there's any scenario where I was beating Weber today. I'm not sure what they gave him. But I want a little bit of it. That's some shit, man. I don't, I don't know. I just, like... Okay, I'm one thing, but, like... Mercedes got shit on today. Lewis wasn't even that quick. And got stuck in traffic, pretty much. I don't know really know how quick he was, but it didn't seem like he was that quick. Botas ain't even close! I'm not even close. So, I don't know. I don't know. But, um, all in all, for the championship, it's pretty good. I don't think we're going to be fighting Lucas Weber for the championship unless he shows up with these these cars every week. And that's, uh, that's, that's going to be fun. But, um, I think that's his first career win. So, must be nice. I definitely want to win here before my career is up, but... <laughs> I don't even I don't, I don't even know what to say, man. I'm happy with P2, but I'm just like job, mate. That's a fantastic podium. Super driving. We weren't even like face. nobody was very, close. Very happy. Nobody was close to Weber, so I don't I don't know. It's been coming for a while this one. What an excellent win for William. <laughs> I've said that about one of my shits before. Where is the successful well, drivers there you have it. The That's uh <laughs> It was a pretty performance today by Williams. I can't be upset, man. I uh, I outscored both Mercedes cars and uh, put one on the podium for Sauber, so I'm cool with that. But uh yeah, Lucas Weber. F1 needs to chill out with Lucas Weber, man. Unless Albon's running that good too, which he ain't. Lucas Weber and Williams need to chill the fuck out. Look at the finishing results, Lucas Weber. So he had at least like six tenths on my fastest lap time. Botas is coach faster than I was. I uh, just look going off of these fastest times. I mean, nobody else was close. So we were the closest to him. Botas third. Kimmy ended up coming back for P4, so I'm happy for him there. I, uh, I did not look good there back in the pack. So <laughs> Devin Butler. There's only one car he got by. That was Kimmy. Devin Butler finished fifth. Poor Lewis finished sixth, right there where he started. So that's um. Oh, that's big right there. Some big time championship points for us. Kvyat, Stroll, Grosjean right at your top ten, and then there's everybody else. All the way back to our one DNF, Nico Hulkenberg. Pierre Gasly had a uh, time penalty. I think I know what that was for. Yeah, there's a huge pack there at the end, and as you can see, it was ninth all the way down to it looks like Gasly was somewhere in there and had that time penalty, so that put him all the way at the back. Ooh, man, it hurts. Amazing hmm. performance out there. I'm sure you're pretty happy with that. Yep. <clears throat> it could have been better, though. better in today's race than he did in qualifying. Were you expecting that? Uh, no. He got bailed.
I don't give a shit anyway, so why you keep asking me? You left a lot of paint on the walls today. Were you struggling for grip or did you just misjudge some corners? What do you think this is, Claire? This is Monica. Everybody scrapes the wall a couple of times. Like, no comment. Well, fuck off. Anyway. Hey, oh, I love a big, big chunk bonus. Resource point bonuses, hell yeah. Alrighty, well, first up, yeah, this one's an easy one. Just get that on there. That'll be an automatic one for next next week. Um, ooh, boy. And then I guess I'm going to get this. A minor weight redistribution upgrade, but that leads into the ultimate. And I think we want to get there. I also would like to get a break upgrade, too. That would be awesome. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get a break upgrade before this career mode's over with. And then uh, it doesn't look like I can afford anything else at all. No, I cannot. Well, we'll we'll save those 500 resource points for next week then. But that is, uh, well, two miners. It's not gonna too. It's not gonna do too much for us right there. But it should get us up to P2 and chassis, and then uh, eh, we'll get above Ferrari. Cool. So an updated look at the point standings after Monaco. Uh, yeah, obviously we gained on the on the points lead there. So. Lucas Weber is uh, he's not too terribly far behind P3. I'm a, I'm a little I'm a little scared after that performance in Monaco. If they're gonna just be beating everybody's ass left and right like that, um, like half a second quicker than everybody, we're gonna have a problem. But all in all, not bad. I'll take it. Going into my favorite track on the circuit, and that is Montreal. How about that, man? Three podiums in a row. I almost guarantee you we make it a fourth in Montreal. I hope as long as nothing stupid happens. Well, there you have it. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode, man. Monaco is fun as always. One of my favorite tracks. Not quite my favorite, but it is, it is definitely up there, man. I respect the hell out of that track, and it's it's always a lot of fun. So, uh, once again, my favorite track coming up, Montreal. It should be a good time, man. Once again, hope you guys enjoyed. Appreciate y'all as always. I'll see you guys in the next video.